Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In today's lesson, I will talk about one the main differences between distance vector routing and link state routing. Two, ERGRP enhanced interior gateway routing protocol, a hybrid of distance vector and link state. Now let's take a look at the classification of the dynamic routing protocols. There's a two classes or two categories of routing protocols. Interior Gateway Protocol, IGP, and Exterior Gateway Protocol, EGP. IGP and EGP are different in terms of autonomous systems where IGP type routing protocol are used within the autonomous system and EGP type routing protocols are used between different autonomous systems. EGP includes one path vector routing protocol, border gateway protocol or BGP used by AS border routers. IGP includes three different types of routing algorithms, distance vector, link state, and hybrid. The distance vector routing include RRP, routing information protocol, and IGRP, interior gateway routing protocol. Link state type includes O SPF, open shortest path first, and IS to IS, intermediate system to intermediate system. The hybrid type the routing includes only one, the EIGRP, enhanced interior gateway routing protocol. Let's talk about the main differences between the distance vector and the link state. In distance vector routing, each router only shares its routing table with its neighbors, while in link state routing, each router shares its complete map of network with all other routers in the network. This means that link state routing requires more bandwidth and processing power than distance vector routing. That a distance vector routing relies on each router making decision based on the limited information while the link state routing allows each router to have a complete view of network, making routing decisions more accurate and reliable. However, this also means link state routing is more complex to set up and configure. Let's talk about the concept of convergence because it's important when we talk about routing protocol. Convergence is the process by which all devices in the network come to agree on the best route to a given destination. In distance vector routing, convergence can be slow because each device only has limited information about the network and must rely on periodic updates from its neighbors. In contrast, link state routing protocols use more efficient flooding algorithm to exchange routing information, which allows for faster convergence. Both the distance vector and the link state routing protocols use metrics to determine the best route to a given destination. In distance vector routing, the metric is typical the number of hops, intermediate devices between the source and destination. In link state routing, the metric can be based on a variety of factors such as bandwidth, reliability, and latency. For these reasons mentioned above, linked state routing protocols are suitable for larger networks while the distance vector algorithm are suited for smaller networks. 
Now let me talk about one hybrid routing protocol, EIGRP, which uses both distance vector and link state routing algorithms. EIGRP is a Cisco proprietary protocol, which means it's not open standard like OSPF or BGP. EIGRP is a hybrid uh, protocol because it combines some of the characteristics of both distance vector and the link state uh, protocols. It's a distance vector routing protocol because ERGRP is advanced distance vector routing protocol based on the principles of the interior gateway routing protocol, RGRP, which means that it uses a metric to determine the best path to a destination and it sends its routing updates to its neighbors. It's also a link state routing protocol because each router has a topology view of networks, only sends incremental changes to its neighbors, and use more metrics like bandwidth, latency, and reliability to determine the best route between any two devices. ERGRP is known for its fast convergence and low bandwidth usage and is commonly used in enterprise networks. I hope this video is helpful. Please support my channel by becoming a member at patreon.com. Thank you very much and see you next time.